Libra. Happy birthday, Libra. All right. It is up. It is your turn. Okay. It is. This is all about you, Libra. And I am going to put up a nice post for you. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? I've been so busy and I have not been able to upload. And so, um, yeah, I am back and I'm doing what I have not been able to do, which is record because I've been busy doing other things. So, um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and I'm sorry. Look at what came out, Libra. Look at what came out for you. Now, I'm not going to take this, but... Libra, talk about justice, talk about being emotionally fulfilled. Someone wants to see you or you want to see somebody. And possibly you guys are watching each other. Okay. So let's see if that has any significance in your reading today, Libra. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get it. Okay. Ooh, Libra, I see a whole bunch of pinnacles here. I see a whole bunch of investment. I see that someone needs to be more reciprocal, but I also see that someone wants to give you something, okay? That's a lot of pinnacles. So you guys are on your grind, too. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. Ooh, this is talking about a transformation, okay? Libra, you guys in general have been... Um, you guys have been quiet on my channel. So I don't really have a backstory for you yet. Look at what's at the bottom. Two death cards. If you guys don't know, this is two decks um, combined. And um, yeah, so it just kind of helps me to see basically at this point, um, like the, repeti the repeating energies. Um, and it always works. So let's get back to your read. We're going to go ahead and do four more cards for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get four more cards. Ooh, decisions. Ooh, okay, all right, so all of these were coming out. Come on now, let's get it. We have the two of, the two of wands. We have the knight of swords. We have the world and we also have the eight of swords. So someone has just been in their head about something ending. Um, I believe that you guys are not talking to each other, whoever this may be. Um, there's, there's also a sense of needing to, um, I, I believe your work in general, maybe you guys are going to get, um, and look, this is at the bottom, two of wands. You guys are definitely um, planning, okay? The overall energy here is planning. I'm gonna go ahead and get another get another ending card, and I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna end stop somewhere where I believe will be yours. Stop right now. Queen of Wands. So you guys are definitely gonna be feeling some type of ener like energetic energy. Um, where you guys may have been feeling kind of down before there, there is going to be something that's going to make you feel more energetic things of that nature but I do see that someone is feeling like I've invested a lot <laughs> okay I've worked hard this is work and a commitment okay the queen of pentacles um, you guys could have uh, some type of earth in your chart but also could be dealing with someone that is an earth sign that wants to give you something. There is a sense of transformation here and it's kind of like exploring there with the two of wands. You know, you have options, choices. Um, you know, maybe you guys may want to move or you guys are looking for new jobs in other areas. There with the Knight of Swords, it also talks about someone wants to come in and be more reciprocal. Now what has happened? Right. So someone has had some type of awakening <laughs> and they're in there speeding down the road. They are knocking people over because they understand that there is something serious here. OK, um, here with the world, with this, with the Knight of Swords could mean that they, they are traveling from a, di a different you know, city or country. 
and they need to get to you fast. But there is this sense of eight of this eight of swords being feeling stuck. But I feel like this is going to be energy that you're going to get out of. Okay, this could be you or your person. I don't see too much of a love read. I do see that it's it's. I do see that it was there. Um, but I see that there's other things on your mind too. It's not just about love. I see that there's definitely work. There's definitely adventures, other things that you are concerned about when it comes down to the world, um, things of that nature. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and clarify these cards with, uh, you know what? I'm going to use my small deck. We're going to clarify these cards with a little mini tarot. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get the Seven of Pentacles, which talks about investment, things of that nature. Um, where should you invest? What should you invest in? Um, things of that nature. I feel like it's both love and finances. Here, this actually fell over. Yeah, this is definitely money. This is money. <laughs> not just about love <laughs> this is about money too you had the queen of wands even at the bottom of this deck this is work so what you're going to invest in here okay this is a lot of investment so you guys are possibly investing in new ideas work things of that nature um and i do believe that this is coming to a relationship this has something to do with someone who is very sneaky Okay, in the past, they were playing mind games. They weren't giving you too much of anything. This person would rather stay single. And this was some lessons that you may have to learn. There could have been some time here that you guys haven't spoken. But this, this is a burden that's going to get put down, whether financially and dealing with the relationship. Like I said, there's a transformation. There are definitely things that is going to balance out here for you, Libra. But <clears throat> money... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's something that I definitely see here. Okay, I'm seeing that. So let's go ahead and get the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Okay, that was really trying to get my attention, popping up all the way in my face. <laughs> let's see. Okay. Ooh, we got this too. Ooh. So someone got cut off because you were not feeling appreciated, Libra. You were not feeling it. So, you know, Libra, <clears throat> here this is like, cup, you know, closing up a cup of love. You had it in you. You had all this emotion. You had all these feelings for someone who you thought what your, what was your one here with the two of cups. Okay, now this person to me seemed like they do want to come back because here's the knight of wands right at the bottom. This person has realized something. They were very cold to you, okay? When you guys were connected. This person is very smart, very good looking, but the king of wands and the king of swords, oof. And some of you guys may have more than one decision to make here with the two of wands. Some of you guys have more than one lover and you need to decide which one that you want. And it's going to be a very quick, you need to make this decision very quickly and definitely because there's a, there's a, uh, there's a, a issue here that if you don't make it quickly, then someone is going to leave. Like I said, I believe that here, this is dealing with someone in your past, someone that you cut off. But there's also a decision that you guys have to make with possibly someone new. Uh, energy that someone that you just met, someone new and dealing with your past. Someone that you cut off in your past, okay? One person is very intellectual. The other person is very intellectual, but very sexy, very fiery. And then the other one may be more mental, may not have as much fire for some of you. But I definitely see that, um, you know, they both want to invest and work in this connection with you, Libra. Let's go ahead and go with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, definite change here with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Oof. You guys, I don't know if you guys are going to hit the jackpot, <laughs> have some type of windfall. 
um, have something like that because this is all talking about a lot of cash, a lot of money, okay? You guys kind of hit the sweet spot. So you have someone that wants to come back in. Like I said, very few of you have two, two people to choose from, but there's definitely been a connection that's been kind of severed. Some of you guys have you know, dealt with individuals who, you know, possibly someone in the past that you had to cut off because they were doing things they shouldn't have been doing according to you and the way you guys have set up your relationship. But here with the Queen of Pentacles with the star and um, this wheel, this is going to be a whole change for you. Some of you guys are going to come up off some money um, and it's going to change your whole life. Okay. I'm definitely seeing that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the death card transformation. It also talks about change. This is wonderful. Okay, let's get a little bit more energy. Okay, if you guys hear anything in the background, I have a preteen, okay? And I'm telling you, they are... Ooh, the minute game is horrible. Look at this. <laughs> Libra. Wow. No more juggling. This is going to be a transformation of you being of you juggling in the past. You guys are definitely about to get up out of this energy. Okay, here with the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is also talks about emotion, emotional roller coaster. <coughs> Excuse me. You guys feeling very unbalanced emotionally and financially. And this is going to be a whole new transformation. Remember, we had the wheel there that talked about change. This is this is it. <laughs> this is the reason why that Queen of Wands is in your that's your overall energy. If it has, if it's not, it will be. Because this is going to really give you the spark. This is going to be the thing that's going to make you feel alive again. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful, Libra. Happy birthday. I mean, this is such a beautiful birthday present. This is really good. I see relationship and finances here. I really do. Let's go ahead and get the um, two of wands. Ooh, that death card is coming out like crazy here, too. I think a lot of you guys may be getting inheritance through maybe someone died. Not, and that's not a good thing, but I'm just saying I got to show you what I see. This popped over. I'm taking that. So even here, this person that's coming back to you, there's going to be a transformation of this relationship. They want to smooth things over. Something that happened in the past between you and this person, <clears throat> there is a, a lot of secret love you guys don't know about. They may not have ex expressed that to you. Like I said, that King of Wands and that King of Swords do not express themselves. But this is here to kind of let you know that they do have feelings for you. They do love you. And this is the reason why they're coming back. I want to smooth things over with that six of swords. Okay. This connection feels very much dead here. Okay. And it's been a while. It's taken a long time, but they're going to bring you, you know, a steady offer and a lot of clarity, something that you did not know, you, you know, you needed to know where this, what, where this stood. So, oh man, you had the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. This is just literally talking about love and commitment here. A lot of changes, a lot of, I mean, even with the world card, cycles, ending, things of that nature. So this is just wonderful, Libra. Okay. So let's go. And it's coming and it's coming quick, quickly here with the Knight of Swords. So let's get the Knight of Swords. Let's see what's going on with that. Definitely your person coming back to you. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> they want to see you. You guys may live in a different part of the world. Okay. <clears throat> and they're going to, they're, they're, no matter what, you, they're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> They're like, they're coming, okay? They want to see you, okay? They really do because they're getting tired of just spying on you <laughs> here with the Page of Swords. And they're coming very quickly. Like I said, they want to see you and they're, they're trying to bring you a steady offer too. Pinnacles, pinnacles all throughout this deck here. Libra, this is wonderful. 
I mean, and it, it looked like I can even feel it. I could feel that juggling energy of emotions and finances. I feel a lot of that stuff. I feel how a lot of these, a lot of things have happened. And some of you guys are already feeling stable financially. Some of you guys are already feeling stable emotionally. And, you know, this is coming to a lot of you guys that has not, it hasn't happened yet. This is beautiful. And for some of you guys who don't know, I'm doing personal reading. So let's just see how it fits for you in this regard. Okay. But I do see that someone is standing their ground with coming back. This is like, you may say no. And they're like, nope, <laughs> I'll show you that I want you anyway. And it's not going to be a creepy thing, but they're going to at least, you know, at least try to get on your good side. Because we saw the Six of Swords. Let's go ahead and get the world. Woo, yes. Look at what actually came out. Okay, because this was not supposed to happen. I was just trying to... Look at what came out again. This is like, nope, I can't stay at the bottom of the deck. Let Libra know this is coming. Remember, this under here was the... the and we had the the wheel card, right? The change. This is talking about, you know, transformation, stuff that you really don't see. You may not see it. That moon card talks about feeling sad and, you know, being thankful though, when this type of stuff happened, because here we have the star and we have the moon. This is being so thankful for the things that are about to occur for you, truly, because there's going to be a whole new cycle Thanking, thanking the universe. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get one more card for the world. Here, there's that person. That's that person you've been wishing for. That person that has caused a lot of stress in your life, Libra. They are back. Okay, and some of them may have to travel to get to you and some of them may have to may have had cycles and may have needed to evolve spiritually to get where you are. Okay, this is why I said they're going to hold their ground and show you that they're different. That's what they're going to tell you, but it's still up to you and your choice. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the eight of swords. Yeah, but see, this person from your past made you put you in other, you know, made you feel like an option. Other people are around, and that's the thing that's going to have you stuck. You're going to be constantly thinking about the past here. You're going to be thinking about the past. Let's see what you're going to do, though. Yeah. See, remember that this was the first card that came out. This was talking about investing emotionally, even financially for this person. Now this person is thinking about what you did when they were putting you in, you know, other, you know, putting you in other connections without you knowing it. You were a part of the crowd and that is not what you intended. Here with some of you guys, this person may want to marry you, but it also talks about you may have been the person that they were seeing on the side and you didn't even know that you were the secret person. You didn't even know this person was married. And so it's a lot of guilt here. It's a lot of stress. I'm going to get one more card. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be some type of interaction with this person. This person from your past that you're being very guarded against because see a lot of stuff you're not forgetting. So I do feel like this is kind of going to be up to you what you guys are going to do because this is going to kind of put you in this weird situation. As Eight of Swords talks about, you're not able to really think straight, but I think, like I said, there's going to be a transformation. You're going to get over this and there's going to be a catalyst, a new, something new that's going to give you a lot of energy and bring you out of this whole mess that you are feeling and that you've been in. So, so much beautiful change here. So much opportunity here for you, Libra. And happy birthday. This is such a beautiful birthday present. So, I will see you guys back here soon. And of course, since this is Libra season, you guys get extra videos. So, just look out for that. I will see you guys soon, Libra. Bye.